Hey guys, Johnny here, back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, we rank all the guns in Battle Royale. Guys, we got 27 guns right now in Battle Royale. I'm not gonna go with the exotic weapons from the airdrops, but we're gonna talk about it a little bit, but it's pretty random, and I don't even use them that much, so we're still gonna talk about it a little bit. So let's check it out. Before we go into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now for daily Cut Mobile videos. Let's go. So let's do it, guys. Let's rank all the guns from top tier to bottom tier and again how it works top tier would be what I use if I have the choice my number one picks for primary and secondary weapons would be on S tier if I don't find my favorite weapons I have other preferences that I use pretty often I would put them on A tier and then some weapons on B that I would use at the start of the game if it's the only choice I have but I would probably change later in the game then C and D would be stuff that I pretty much never use but some stuff is kind of usable but D would be total trash that I pretty much never ever use so going with the ARs my number one favorite gun is here guys AK-117 for many players it would be the best weapon in the game right now in battle royale uh, I know some guys will not agree but still the versatility uh, is very good accurate at long range and for my playstyle, I have a lot of long range battles, but this good at close range also and medium range. Very versatile weapon. ARs are good with that. Good range, good accuracy. This is one of the best. And my second one, guys, would be the M4. M4 would also be one of the weapons I use the most in battle well. AK-117 and M4. M4 is a freaking laser in BR. Uh, sometimes we joke and we call it the best sniper in the game because it is you can shoot people from very long range with that one probably more accurate than the ak-117 at long range but maybe it kills a little slower when you get closer so they're both pretty good so they are my number one choices if i have the choice and other weapons that i really like but i would replace them i like still the type 25 guys uh, i know it's not a popular choice in br type 25 uh, it is still a weapon that i use often it's got very high fire rate, it really melts at closer range, but it's losing a lot at long range. It doesn't have the best accuracy, um, so you have to control the, the recoil, you have to burst a little bit with it. But it's still a pretty decent choice and I like it. I also like the AK-47, not the best at long range again, but it's gonna kill pretty fast at medium range and close range if you hit your shots. Uh, it's pretty deadly now another one here the ASM 10 I use it once in a while if I find it early but I'm gonna replace it quickly it's pretty decent for real it's just I don't like the mobility uh, it's pretty slow and I like to move faster in BR have better options so if I find it early I pick it up but I replace it with one of the better options as soon as I can now another weapon that I use quite often is the PDW. Uh, I use the Razorback skin, but PDW I would put up there. It's a SMG. Um, I still will go with that over the ASM-10 if I have the choice. And sometimes I keep the PDW for the whole game. Uh, it's very decent. I used to never use it. I got a lot of comments in Season 2, Season 3, Season 4. I started using it a little bit more. I had some very good games with it. It's very good. Another one would be the RUS-79U here. So these four are pretty good options here. But if I have the choice, I would go with the top ones. Uh, and then the GKS, I would put on C. I use it once in a while. At the start of the game, I ditch it as soon as I can. I feel the damage is pretty low. It feels like a pea shooter. Uh, yeah, not a big fan. I know some guys like it. Uh, we're going to talk about the Mana War also. It would be probably better than the GKS for me. Um, but I don't like it that much. Again, it's a weapon that you find early. Pretty common. And I will replace it as soon as I can. It's going to kill. Especially at the start of the game when people don't have a vest. People don't have adrenaline shot. And you get in close range with people looking for, for loot, uh, it's going to kill for sure. But at long range, it's very bad and it's not versatile at all. So I don't like the Man of War, guys, but I think it's better than the GKS. Uh, you guys want to want to talk about the Chica? Maybe I know some guys like it. Uh, probably I would put it up there over the GKS. 
Uh, it's not complete trash, it's just I never use the Chicom, not a fan of burst weapons. And that's why I would put the M16 up there also. I mean, I know the M16 is a great weapon, okay? Some guys really like it, and probably you could put it on A. I know some guys are sold, M16 all the way, M16 for life. I will say it, it's a laser, it's very accurate, it kills fast, but it's just I'm not a fan of burst weapon, especially with people moving a lot. Uh, I rather have some auto weapons. So looks like that for now. MSMC guys, uh, another popular choice, but the thing with the MSMC is it's really, really good at super close range in your face and in battle royale, you don't have the versatility that you need. Not that often you'll be face to face unless you're fighting in buildings, um, close quarter combat. MSMC will destroy. 1v1 at close range, it will destroy. But Battle Royale is not really the place for that. And then again, it's personal preference. I know some guys really like it, but I don't like it personally. Now we still have the shotguns, guys. Uh, shotguns I never use anymore. The thing is, again, like the MSMC, they're really, really good at super close range. If you're gonna carry two primaries, you can go with a shotgun and a AR maybe. And my favorite shotgun would be the BY-15, so here it's usable, it's not total trash. Uh, the other ones, guys, the Striker and the HS-2126, I never use. I pick it up the ground at the start of a game if there's nothing else. I pick it up and I swap as soon as I find pretty much anything else. Uh, Striker would be the same, guys. Uh, maybe not as bad as the HS-21, but still, these shotguns... I would put at the bottom there never I never ever use shotguns anymore unless it's the very start of the game and I don't have another option so we're gonna go with the other options now secondary weapons uh, you kind of have to carry one there's I think two best choices out there and my number one go-to is the FHJ 18 guys right now in battle whale in season 7 this is the meta uh, especially early in the game. That would be the top secondary weapon for so many reasons. First of all, the choppers. At the start of the game, you're gonna get a feel for how many choppers or how many real players are using choppers. And you wanna be ready early. So if you get FHJ early, you get the edge, you can shoot down these choppers. And you're gonna look to replace it near the end of the game. Uh, once you're done and you know the choppers are pretty much gone, you're gonna swap for something else. Uh, and it's good also to take out the tanks, but of course you want to have the tank, so uh, that would be plan B maybe, but first half of the game, if you have FHJ, you're gonna get action for sure. And the other rocket launcher is also pretty decent for a secondary, maybe not, not my number one choice, but the SMRS is very versatile. Uh, I would put it on B maybe, like some guys would put it on A, but uh you get options with that guys it also uh, kills uh some guys made videos about that uh, decent option also for the tank and other vehicles but i'm not a big big fan of smrs now the snipers and the lmgs i'm not an lmg guy for real but i would use snipers once in a while so my number one sniper in br would be the arctic 50. Uh, if you have the exotic arctic 50 i don't know if you put it on s or, or a um, I guess A, but my number one choice is the FHJ. If I don't have FHJ, I'll go for Arctic 50. And the other snipers, believe it or not, the M21 EBR, I would use once in a while. It's pretty accurate for real. I would put it on C, I guess. Not a top option for secondary. You would probably use other stuff before that. Uh, but it's not a bad choice. I use it pretty often. Uh, just for fun sometimes, but you can have some decent games uh, Pretty accurate decent weapon the other one XPR 50 I would put right there on the never use it's pretty much trash uh, And the DLQ also uh, They both not for by the way. I'll, the XPR first of all is not accurate at all. You see the bullet fly uh, If you looking to hit someone at very long range the bullet is moving guys and if your targets moving Forget about it, like uh, maybe at close range. DLQ, same thing. I guess you're looking for medium close range action, but the long distance sniper shot in BR uh, is just not working for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's brand new. 
and we didn't have much chances to use it but i'm not a fan of dlq and i hear a lot of bad comments on the dlq in battle royale so let me know in the comments maybe how you like it uh then the lmgs i'm not a fan of lmgs for the same reason i don't use the asm 10 much is the mobility so my number one secondary would be fhj then arctic 50 and then on b i would go with maybe ul736 or rpd they're both pretty decent um like shooting down choppers with lmg the cool thing is they got lots of ammo maybe rpd before ul736 they do decent damage to vehicles um but they're not super accurate like you shoot you shoot but you don't hit that much if you're fighting against uh squads but if you're shooting vehicles rpd is actually awesome uh if you fight people from medium range and you hit your shots it's also going to kill pretty fast rpd is not bad ul736 is still pretty new but it's also decent and then the s36 i'll put uh at the bottom and m4 mlg also and probably maybe that also but like let's put them there sometimes i use sometimes i don't use uh, the s36 doesn't feel right but the slow mobility again lmgs uh it's not it's not my style that's that's the thing i'll go fhj i'll go arctic 50 and then if i don't have anything else i'll pick up a rpd sometimes ul 736 and then the pistols like seriously you don't use in br you never use pistols in br unless you just respawn now about the exotic weapons and the airdrops, uh, I know you can get on the air platform, the war machine, the grenade launcher and stuff like that. You can get the Arctic 50 exotic. Arctic 50 exotic would be also uh, a top choice for me. If I find it and I don't need the FHJ anymore, I'll use the Arctic 50 exotic because of the thermal scope. It's awesome. The other stuff, guys, I know we now have uh, the Annihilator. They just added the Tempest and i guess it's something you can use for fun but it's not something you use every game it's not a, a top choice in my opinion but it can be fun to use for sure so that would be it guys my top tiers for battle royale weapons now let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree what are the weapons that you would move down or move up and i would put a link down below so if you guys want to make your own tier list you can post it download it and post it and tag me on twitter or discord show me your tier list if you don't agree with me and i will take a look for sure should be interesting gonna create some interesting discussions once again be respectful in the comments if some guys don't agree with you it's personal preference once again it goes with your play style so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video and once again don't forget to hit the like if you enjoyed smash the subscribe button let's get to 85,000 this week and i will see you guys in the next one take care